Hello and welcome to this edition of Phi TV. We are here in the second to last day of the 2019 legislative session. I am joined by Anthony Pettacini of Simwins, one of the most successful campaign management companies in the state of Florida. Uh, Anthony Pettacini has been killing elections for a long time. Sometimes he's killing the candidates as well. So, <laughs> Anthony, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, so, so we've been talking with candidates across the board, legislators across the board about issues and whatnot. We actually had um, General Moody on. Yep. We know you ran her successful campaign. Yep. And uh, so, 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 congrats. Thanks. First of all, let's talk a little bit about um, what you see as the winning kind of technology or the secret sauce for the last, last election. And then we'll get into the upcoming elections. Well, I think that I think the secret sauce is the old sauce. I mean, nothing beats walking. So, uh, if you're in a house race, for for example, and, and you can hit as many doors as possible, um, I think you're going to be able to sustain more traditional forms of campaigning some social media stuff if people know you. Um, in Senate races, that gets a little tougher, in state Senate races, only because the districts are so big. Uh, but Senator Galvano funded a, a tremendous effort in the general election, bigger than any other effort in the state, and hit more doors than anyone's yeah. ever had in the state of Florida. So I think I think knocking on doors still matters. Yeah, raised so much so much money and, and, and had a really successful campaign, sure. to the point where he was clashing with one of the president's advisors yeah. as to who actually <laughs> won it for the president. Was it that state senate? Hold turnout? my scarf. Hold my scarf. But it'll be a uh, one of the legends that's talked about in this this building for a long time. Right. I love it. I love it. All right. So so as we move into summer, mm -hmm. right? Cam campaigns are already rocking they right, are. right now. Where do we stand? on on can, candidates and campaigns and what's going to be the theme of the next 90 days for these these candidates well i think the team the the theme for the incumbents that are leaving to go home is going to be fundraising uh some of the some of the termed out members will obviously start running for higher office right. uh some of them have already started that new candidates are going to start to find their fundraising bases there's already uh, probably i want to say two dozen candidates that have breached the hundred thousand dollar mark in right. open seats on the republican side um, I just think it's going to be the summer to get organized, mm -hmm. and as we get into the fall and we're a year out from November, I think you're going to start to see things coalesce in the fall. Of the new technologies that you're seeing in the space, I mean, you know, we saw polls completely broken, if you will, during the, the Clinton-Trump cycle. I sure. mean, they just weren't giving real numbers that anybody could depend on, but that's at the presidential level. It didn't seem to change once you dropped down. They still could tell you kind of the tale of what's happening in a district. What do you see as... What's the top toys? What are the top technologies well, that you're using? Hey, you got to have a good pollster. I mean, mm -hmm. I think in, in all of these house races, we've been blessed. We've had good pollsters. Even in, even in outcomes where we weren't successful, right. we still knew what the number was going to be the night of. So a good pollster is key. Um, you know, I'm not a real big believer in the social media space yet. Right, I think right. it's kind of like a snake oil thing. We won't thing. kick you off the program No, that's okay. That's okay. But uh, for a candidate, if you, if you put tens of thousands of dollars solely into social media, sure. I, I think it's got to be a piece of the equation, right. not the whole equation. And some candidates have started just to make it the whole thing. Right. Um, you, you have to fund a, a full campaign, a full-throated right. campaign. Right. You've run before. You sure, know. Of course. You're going to walk. You're going to do TV. You're going to do mail. And that's that's how you're going to win your race. Right. Well, well we know that, that our companies that are our members, who are delivering, you know, those commercials, yep. not only over broadcast, over the cable channels, but now, you know, with the very on remote demand. controls. Oh, you man. Can One of the coolest things that we've discovered on the cable space is that you can actually tag a household that you want to with an ad and know when they watch it. It's amazing stuff. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, I tell you what, we know Sim Wins, Sim Wins is going to be out there and across the board um, on a multiple of candidates, not just state and house. We know you do <laughs> sheriff races, but uh, we'll uh, we'll look for your next uh, rabbit that you pull out of a hat because you're usually on the front page of the paper. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for having right. me. Anthony, thanks for coming thanks, on. I appreciate you. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Hit us up on our social medias on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day, and thanks for tuning in.